So it is the infamous Mycroft. It has finally arrived after 18 months and a number of extra things. It says here is the box. It says advanced prototype on it. So they're being very clear about the fact that it's not ready yet. Okay, so fair play, no problem. It says on the top here, hello, my name is Mycroft, which I think is meant to put me in mind of the Doctor Who episode. You know, the one with Idris, where it's, hello, I'm the Doctor. I've been waiting such a long time to meet you. Hello, Doctor. It's so very, very nice to meet you. And yes, I have been waiting such a long time for my Mycroft, but now I've actually got it, so let's have a crack at opening it. Box just opens up. And inside it, I've got uh, Mycroft, an open source artificial intelligence for everyone. Fine. So here's a bit of paper with my address on it. So we'll hide that off to one side. Um, and I have a little sticker. Look, a Mycroft AI sticker. That's very nice. I'm not sure what the symbol is meant to represent there. No, it's, um, it's a hexagon with a half circle in the middle of it and a dot. Is that... Is that, the sh is that the Mycroft logo? Is that the shape of a Mycroft? I'm not really sure. Um, and then inside it says, nice to meet you. And if we open that up, ha! Big side of the phone saying, stop. I'm still rough around the edges. That's why I'm still mainly for developers, bakers, and early adopters. If you're looking for a polished and friendly user experience, put me on a shelf until February the 28th, 2018, where we release Mycroft Core Software version 18.02b. Okay, fair play. So they've, they're being very clear about the fact that it's still rough around the edges. And this is a sort of preemptive attempt, I think, to stop me plugging this in, saying, wow, this is terrible, <laughs> and not liking it. So fair play. We will treat it as a thing for developers and makers and early adopters. So finally, in the box, is a Mycroft itself. Uh, and... This little, this little foot thing, is that a foot from the bottom? Yes, it's a foot from the bottom which has fallen off. So it's, well, that just seems to just pop in. It doesn't seem to, to sit in at all. Okay, but fine, that's no problem. So here's Mycroft. Um, let me just look at what else is in the box. So you've got, uh, hello, Mycroft. Um, my name is Mycroft Mark 1 and I'm an advanced prototype. I'm a little desktop robot hoping to be your first robot friend. So fair enough. Again, they're stressing here that it's a prototype. Um, uh, looking for polished and friendly user experience, put me on a shelf and wait six months, so on. And here is a manual, which we will look through later. And I'm assuming is published somewhere as a PDF or similar. Um, also in here is a box with a power supply written on it, which I'm assuming is just some kind of a same... Oh, for goodness sake. Um, okay, so uh, it's, a, it's a power supply with a US plug on it. So... Nought thanks to the Microsoft people there for charging me $20 for international shipping and then another $26 for international shipping and then $26 for, or $33 actually, for customs fees and still supplied me with a US plug. But God bless the USA. And then here we have the device itself. Move this box out the way. So this is an actual Microsoft. Here it is. Uh, it's got the, the thing at the front, which will presumably have the smiley face this is just an unboxing but i will be plugging it in and experimenting with it soon big button on the top with quite a satisfying click action i think um a symbol here on the side i don't know exactly what that is looks like the open source logo um and then many 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 sockets on the back so that's quite good there's power socket there that's hdmi by the look of it um that's uh phono audio uh there's a uh an Ethernet uh, RJ45 lead. There's four USB sockets, which is more than almost every laptop I've ever owned is. And then whatever this socket is, which I don't even recognise. Um, but okay, it's called a Microsoft Mark One, uh, and it's got registration numbers there and an FCC ID and so on. Um, I'm sure people will have done beyond an unboxing a tear down, but I'm not doing that. I'm not taking it apart. I believe there's a Raspberry Pi in here somewhere. Um, but my my more important thing is to get a sense of what it's going to be like, whether it's going to be any good, and that'll be the next video.